If this is your first time using a Chromebook, there are a few things you should know. Chromebooks are different than laptops. Chromebooks are meant to only run the internet. The internet on a Chromebook is called Chrome. It looks like this beach ball. Usually, it'll be pinned to your shelf down here. Now, let's talk about the different parts. You'll see my desktop doesn't have any icons because you can't download anything. But at the bottom, this part is called the shelf. There are apps that are pinned to your shelf, and these are just here for easily accessibility. And there are things that are running right now. So I know these are running because they have a small line beneath them. To access the apps on your Chromebook, you're going to go in the bottom left and click on the launcher. From here, you'll be able to see the different apps that are available. Students have limited access on downloading apps and extensions, but you can always reach out to your teacher if you need help. If you have an app that you want to pin to your shelf to make it easily accessible, you're going to find that app and you're going to right click on it. Right click on a Chromebook means you're going to take two fingers at one time and tap. Then you're going to click pin to shelf. From there, you'll see that now that app is always accessible on your Chromebook, really quick and easy on the shelf. Let's say there's an app on there that's a distraction and you want to take it off. Again, you're going to right click by two finger tap and you're just going to hit unpin. This doesn't delete the app from the Chromebook, it just removes it from the shelf. Now another part that's important to know is over here, which is called the status tray. When you click on the status tray, you can access your settings, the internet, and your keyboard. Sometimes people change their keyboard to an international keyboard on accident. So just know that's where it is. So that's where all of those are. Let's go into settings for a moment. When you're in settings, you can always search for the top if, for something specific you want. To scroll on a Chromebook, you're going to take two fingers and you're just going to pull down. You're not going to click, you're just going to drag them down across your touchpad. So right click is a two finger click. Scroll is just pull down nice and neat. If you want to see all the Chromebook shortcuts, you can hit Control, Alt, and question mark at the same time. There are so many shortcuts on a Chromebook, so it might take a while to go through. But if you're interested, Control, Alt, question mark. If you have any questions, please contact the tech department or visit, visit Google's Chromebook Help online. Have a great day.